This is Fabian Park furniture that was cre recreated by General Fabian for a park in Geneva, Illinois, along the Fox River. This is restyled Egyptian figures. These are women, of course, you can see this. And if you take a look here, they have lion's pedestal feet. They've been here for a long time, so they're pretty well buried. Some of the details on here would be a vase and a jar of life and a sun disc. A sun disc with two dolphins, one on each side. Also down below here, the winged sun disc. The hawk god, the Egyptians actually tamed hawk in order to do their hunting for them. And you can see the beading along here. If you look underneath here, you'll see a pedestal leg and it's pyramidal in style. And take a look further here. You can see a back for this bench. And then you can also see the winged sun disc again. This time it's dropping rain on the fertile crops of Egypt. And then there again, the winged sun god again. These pieces have a whole bunch of symbolism on them. Colonel Fabian used Louis Sullivan to recreate these artists and he was also a protege of Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright designed the Fabian Villa. I'd like to show you around back. We also have a table that goes along with this set of furniture. This is a matching Egyptian table that was used on Colonel Fabian's property. You can see again, there are female figures here. If you were to go to Fabian's Park today, you'll see that they have the two male figures. They have a bench and a larger bench. These are the only two existing remaining pieces from the Fabian Park collection that represented females. I know they're very valuable and they're historic, they're part of Geneva's history, but they're also very much a recreation of Egyptian history.